applause for Miss Joy Spring! Okay, you know, I I know you always get really, really nervous before you perform. And even this is even when you perform at, at concerts or festivals, this is the first time you performed your own song. How did that feel? It feels liberating. First okay. of all, um, to be able to play the song in front of people who braved Friday traffic to be here. So, maraming maraming salamat po. I was very nervous, but I'm sin sincerely so happy to be performing my, my own song. Yeah, what was it like? Because when, when, whenever Joyce would perform before, she'd always text me, about parts, parts, and people, ay, 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 ay. Today, she, she didn't. It seemed like you were a lot more confident and you were comfortable that this is something that you really wanted to do because if i make a mistake nobody will know that's, that's my true. original song that's that is true. the perk of writing your own song <laughs> when you make a mistake people will just be like wow it's so artistic what was the, the thought process of the song though? i had given up on love as you know yes Aaron has been single for seven years by the way if you guys would like to date him he has very much like so we have mga media outlets tayo yes. to try and help he me no? very very single to all the media outlets thank you uh, he's single he's amazing he's smart but we both have given up on love at some point in our lives because we're just so jaded by it that feeling yes. ko talaga minsan parang Okay now, you know, I'm so happy. I, I, I live such a beautiful life because of the people that I'm surrounded with. The work that I do is so fulfilling for me. And I just felt like I didn't want to take chances on people anymore, at least not romantically. But then late last year, my humabol. My humabol. And I remember writing this song just as I had moved into this new apartment that I rent now. And I was just like, Naman, na it'll work out this time around. Maybe I'll give it one last shot. And then if it doesn't, I'm gonna live with my dog Bowie alone in a mountainous area somewhere. But mukha naman nag work out siya. No pressure, Pops. No, no pressure, pressure at all. None at all. No, no, no. no but yes, I think if you're asking me about what the song means, the song really is just about new beginnings. It's about... Um, giving hope to yourself and allowing yourself to hope again. Mm -hmm. You know how they always say that hope is more dangerous than fear because hope actually gives you that kind of spark that you use to just hide under the rug and okay ka na dun. But you know, I feel like I was brave enough to actually give somebody a chance last year. And you know, now I, I must say that it's proven to be one of the best decisions that I've ever made. No doubt. Very much. Okay na? Nakuan, nakuan. Kasi may single ako. Na. Wow! Pakitweet na. Pakitweet na pa. We're opening up the floor to to anyone if, uh, if we're going to have a panel interview. I guess you're going to see the floor is now open for your questions. The floor is now open for your questions. So if you guys have any questions about no some... No projects, please. Kahit dalawa kami dito, uh -oh. who does not help? Wala silang what about, what about Rico? How is it working with Rico? Somebody that we've always listened to a lot of music from, such a great mind when it comes to music. Yeah, so, okay, so the background is Rico Blanco and I have been friends for the longest time. I, I met him when I was 18 years old. I was working as a host already and I did a lot of music shows and I covered a lot of music shows. So I would meet him often and I'd hang out with Rico and parang he would always be one of the few people who consistently told me you have to make music, you have to start singing, you have to put these songs that you've written out there because you've heard my songs, right? and Rico has also. And so, kaya siya yung first person in my mind um, to collaborate with when I thought about Baka Sakali. I brought the song to him, itong song na to, lyrics and melody lang ang meron ako. And Rico was the one to really arrange and produce everything. And we even recorded in his studio, so I'm really grateful for that. It was a collaboration through and through, and I'm very happy with how it sounds. Any chance of a music video? Yes, there's a music video! Okay, lyrics, lyrics, music video, you lyric, know what? Vi lyric video meron na po. Uh -huh. So we'll be putting that up maybe in two to three weeks, but you can now stream the song if you search on Spotify, Baka Sa Kali Joy Spring. It's up already, iTunes, Apple Music, and every other digital streaming platform. Meron bang live, live action ba tao doon yung may tao? Oh, oh, live action. Music video. Music video. Oh, oh, music video. Oh, 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 o
Tatanungin din naman nila eh. Tinatanungin naman naman. Oo. Hindi ko pa alam kung afford namin yung TF niya because he is one of GMA's uh, prime stars. Um, the boss bit? Miss G. <laughs> okay lang ba po? Na-set up ko po yan. Uh, Kinuha uh, na po yan. Na-set up ko yan. One shot review na po. Okay lang ba po? Ah, okay. Pumayag na. Pumayag naman. Okay. May we call on uh, Nikki Wong for uh, our panel, inter uh, panel question? Nikki? Nikki, may tanong ka ba? Nikki. Okay. There you go. Hi, Nikki. Yes. Hi. Nikki from Anna Steinberg. Um, uh, I'm just curious to know, uh, you're a multi-hyphenate artist. Is there something else that you cannot do? I don't dance well. <laughs> I don't dance well. I don't act. <laughs> oh, well, you can practice. But actually, my question is, um, the, the process of writing the song, was it uh, was it difficult for you or what did it go smoothly since music is your first love? Uh, when I wrote the press release for the song, I said that it's one of those songs that kind of wrote itself. And um, I think any artist would would agree with me na meron mga songs that you sit down and you think of what to write. Or you actually, kailangan mong trabahuin kung baga yung kanta. But this is one of those songs that I sat down because I already had the melody, I already had lyrics in my head. It was just a matter of rearranging everything and figuring out if I had a theme in mind. And I realized that when I wrote this song, Wancho Jose had a post on his Instagram that said, Lagi, na, lagi ko na siyang nasa tabi ko ngayon sa TV, sabi niya. We weren't dating at that time. We were just really friends. And um, doon nanggaling yung dito ka lang sa king tabi, baka sakali, baka naman. Because I was like, oh nga no, baka naman. If I stay by your side and if I spend enough time, then maybe I could give it another shot. And so that was the process of it. I had... Maybe I had this impending hope in my heart that I'd actually find someone worth risking everything for. And then it just so happened that the timing was right and I was actually there, so. So is it safe to say that Wancha is one of the inspirations? Wancha, it is safe to say that Wancha is uh, the main beneficiary of this wow. song. <laughs> yes, he's one of the major inspirations. But you know, I, as I mentioned, I think it's also hope in the sense that I lost hope, not just for romantic love, I lost hope for making music because I was like, I'm too busy. I have, as you mentioned, I do so many things and I'm still a frustrated dancer. That's still one thing that I feel like I could pursue. I'm hosting and I'm doing so many great opportunities that are given to me by GMA. So parang sabi ko, okay na, wag na natin gawin yon. But then I had this thought na maybe I could give it another shot. Baka naman, baka mag out siya. Oh, that's very related. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Question? First, do you want to sit down? I would love to sit go. down into my yellow Game of Thrones chair. Because as you know, Aaron and I, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. No. You no, know, no, no, no. You know Arya Stark? Yes, <laughs> she is Do not classic. ruin that show for me in front oh, of everyone. Tony Stark. And that. Coming up next, John Bueno. John Bueno. John! Hello. Come on. Okay, naman. Ito, init na init sa buhay. <laughs> um, first off, congratulations to Sango. Um, are you planning to somehow release a full album if in case you see that this actually does well um, on digital source? I would love to release an album. Um, because of the setup of tonight's single release, I feel like I'm pressured to release an album. Grabe, ano gagawin natin pag album release, guys? Araneta levels na tayo, no? No, but yeah, I, I'd love to release an album. In the meantime, though, I think single is the way to go with a digital platform. There's really a lot of ways for us to express ourselves and release new music without the pressure of having a long format um, album. So for me, singles, singles lang muna. And then maybe we can do a, an album in the future. Hopefully before the year ends. It seems that you're quite confident in making songs now. Um, do you think your way or process you actually do things is with love rather than with hurting yourself? Oh, sorry, again. Um, I mean, if, if uh, people actually make songs when they get hurt, right? And then you're making songs when you're in love. Is that your process, per se? I guess so. I guess with anything, I'm kind of extremes in that way. When I'm very happy, I write songs. When I'm very sad, I also write songs. 
I actually have a lot of sad songs that I've written, but I haven't released them precisely because I feel like they're such personal experiences for me. And once I release them to other people, it's open for scrutiny. And I just, I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to do that yet. Kaya siguro mas madali sa akin um, sumulat ng kantang masaya at i-release sa mga tao. Hopeful song and release it to people because I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to stand by it in the future and be like, yeah, I wrote that when I'm in love or when I when I, I need hope or I give people chances. But when you say that I wrote this at the difficult time of my life, I'm going through a heartbreak, parang mas mahirap siyang panindigan, di ba? So I'm not yet brave enough and I actually admire the artists who are doing that, who are capable of being that vulnerable. Maybe Someday. So, maraming marami ka ng bangko. Madami akong bangko. Madami akong sad songs and sad poetry. Oo, umuoo si Aaron. Madami talaga. Um, if you... <laughs> If you look at my website, www.joyspring.com, I write a lot. So most of my poetry, most of my prose and essays, they're very sad. But I, I decided to release a hopeful song because I feel like lahat tayo kailangan natin ng konting jolt of excitement and hope in our lives right now. I feel like we need that sense of positivity and that sense of brave, braveness, you know, being brave and courageous enough to actually try again. Whether it's in love, career, in your family, or in whatever relationship or undertaking that you have, so. Do you think this is beneficial for you too? Because obviously, you're blooming right now. And so is Wancho. Is he blooming? Look well, at him. He looks a lot thinner than when I last oh, saw him. Oh, hey, hey. Baka so, stress lang sa akin. <laughs> but do you think the, the love actually helps? I think having anybody who supports you and takes care of you the way that Wancho does is beneficial. Um, I feel like he is one of the most supportive people in my life right now. He's one of my best friends also and he loves and takes care of my friends and my family the way that I love and take care of them. So it really helps and I don't want to kind of limit it to just romantic love. Not just your partner. Feel ko kung meron kang kaibigan, ka, ka pamilya mo or meron kang katrabaho mo na katulad ni Wancho na talagang sinosuportahan ka at minamahal ka without asking for anything in return. You'll really bloom and you'll really grow as an individual. Alright, congratulations. Sam. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. It. Now we'll go to Kate at the heart. Hi, John. Hi, Kate. Um, um, not many people know that you're a singer. Um, have you always been musically inclined? And when did you start singing? Oh, yes. Not a lot of people know that I sing, but most of my friends from grade school, high school, college know me as a singer. I started singing when I was around four because I grew up in church choir in Sunday school. Ako yung kumakanta dun sa harap. Um, I also did um, chorale. I would compete when I was in high school. So, sa Kisaya ko nag high school. And I studied dun kasi sa science high school. And what's with with a nerdy school like Kisaya, mahilig kami sa music. So, meron kami mga battle of the bands. I joined Himik Shensha, which is our choir group, and I would perform even as young as 13 years old. I had the band already, and I started singing when I was around four, so it's my first love. It is, um, I think, one of my top ways to really express myself, so I love it. When it comes to your writing, do you have a special place for that, a magic hour? Alam mo, masarap magsulat pag inaantok ka na. Lahat ng mga kanta na nasusulat ko na maganda, or yung mga, sometimes I have a notebook by my bedside table, and if I have a lyric, you know that in-between state of you just about to fall asleep, and then you have that great idea, that's when I actually write things down, so I always have a notebook, or on my phone I write it down on my notes. Um, that's my magic hour, I guess, if you ask me. But any time that I'm spending on my own, or any time that I spend after watching something inspirational, whether it's a beautiful movie, or a musical play, or a gig, diba? Or, halimbawa, if I'm hosting one of these things, like a, a single launch, or an album launch, or I host the first for Stand for Truth, our music segment, I get so inspired by these amazing, amazing artists who actually make music for a living. So, means yun yung magic hour ko. Right after trabaho, uwe, harap sa piano, sula. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks, great, appreciate it. And uh, last we go to Alan. Support. Excuse me, Sir Alan. 
Hello po. Congratulations, Joyce. Alam mo, matagal-tagal na tayo magkakilala. You're a simple DJ before. No, malayo-layo na yung nararating mo. Kaya congratulations. Nakaabot na ako sa Nova Licha, excuse me. <laughs> Kamusta naman? Kamusta naman? I just want to ask, kasi you're a good uh, uh, host. Tapos, now a singer. In your career, may mga gusto ka ba mang i-try? Tinatanong ko nga kanina, you wanna try acting? on teleserye or on movie. May ganun bang plan din on your part? At the moment, wala pa namang plano. But as I mentioned earlier, um, I never say no to any opportunity. I always say that, you know, you have to try something out first before you can actually say if it's for you or if it's not for you. But at the moment, I have to say though that I'm being given so many great opportunities as a host in GMA. I'm hosting for Unang Kirit, for Stanford Truth, for Kapuso Artist Tambayan, and for The Clash that's coming up this year also for second season. So I, I have so much on my plate already and my number one rule is to never spread myself too thinly. Kaya I'd like to focus on that. The only reason why I released this song is feeling ko saktong-sakto sa lahat ng ginagawa ko ngayon. Dahil sa Stanford Truth, di ba yung segment ko? Lifestyle and music, so sakto. Um, or sa unang hit it, every morning naman kami, so meron akong oras for the rest of the day. Um, and for The Clash also, it's very musically inclined. Obviously, it's a talent show for singers. So, parang naisip ko lang na sakto yung hosting ko with my singing this year. Kaya gusto ko muna doon mag-focus. But, you know, I never say no to anything until I try it out and I give it my best. So, I just want to ask also, this is just the beginning of your singing career, di ba? May mga ibang mga songs pa bang naisulat ka na mga upcoming parang gan At kung meron man, sino sa mga kapuso singers that you want to sing yung song mo na pa-compose? Um, I actually have a lot of songs already kind of in the lineup. The, I think yung kailangan ko lang malaman is kung willing akong maparinig sa inyo yung mga heartbreak ko na sinulit ko ng mga panahong yun or um, new stuff that I'm really willing to put out there. But I would love to work with some of the clashers that I, I, I worked with when, when I hosted for the clash. You know, sila Kunin, sila Garrett, sila Jong. Malami talaga sa kanila. Um, I also love Lyra, I love songs, and sila Josh. Uh, I love singing with them and I love seeing them shine now in all of the shows that they do. I'd love to work with Christian Bautista and Julian San Jose. Ang dami, ang daming talented singers talaga sa GMA, so I'd love to work with them. Last na lang on me, uh, kung sakali ba maging successful itong album na to at nagkaroon ka ng maraming mga singles, susunod ba nito may concert na rin ang album na rin? Ito na nga, para tayo magpapa-concert tonight pa lang, di ba? Oh, yes, oo naman. Yan ang pangarap ko. Pangarap ko talagang bumaba sa taas tapos magka-hardness ako habang kumakan tapos nag aerobatics ako. Pangarap ko mag-concert, bata pa lang ako. So, that's one of my bucket lists. Hopefully, by next year, for my birthday, that's what we'll get to do. But in the meantime, I'm just all about, you know, focusing on Baka Sakali and the other music that I'll be releasing for the rest of the year and to really just entertain and bring joy to people. Again, congratulations Thanks and more power to you. Thank you so much.